I just wanted to come on here and wish you all a very happy, happy, happy new year. I know this year has been crazy. It's been terrible. It's been awful, actually, for every single person on this earth. But let's just pray that that you know we're able to pull through next year that we're able to pull through obviously we're now very aware that we're not just jumping over a hump and the grass is greener on the other side or that there's a rainbow all of a sudden at the other side of the hill no 2021 is still gonna have the same nonsense that we had in 2020 because that's where it started and a huge fiasco burst out in 2020 but let's just hope and pray that this next year that things will resolve itself because you can tell that here and there all over the world people are losing it people are losing it they don't want to be cooped up in the house anymore they don't want to be stuck in the house anymore they want their freedom they want life to go back to normal and obviously it is heartbreaking to see people lose their lives at the rate that people are losing their lives there's so much uncertainty with the whether to take it whether not to take it there's a lot of conspiracy out there people are just confused this is this is this is this has been the year of confusion 2020 and everybody was joking oh 2020 vision it was used in in churches it was used in in adverts it was used everywhere everybody was like yes this year everything is going to be clear we're going to have 2020 vision everything's going to be so clear to us and i wonder what it is that we saw this year i wonder what it is that you saw this year what really opened your eyes this year what about this panoramic that we're in right now really opened your eyes to what you should be doing in your life how you should be looking at your life how we should be looking at other people's lives and how that doesn't necessarily matter for your life right because everybody's on youtube and now people have had way more time to do that way more time to be on youtube to be on instagram to be on twitter to be blah, 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 everywhere right on social media and and what like what what has that shown you about how much you need to think and worry about your life unlike worrying and thinking about other people's lives and comparing because you could compare to the person with the lamborghini today and that lamborghini will will or might be gone tomorrow because the person has been laid off because they don't have a job anymore so all the riches and the fame and the things that we were following and going to the clubs from club to club and i want this person to see me and that person to see me this year if anything should have opened your eyes to the reality of life and what life is really about is that it's not that all those friends you may be used to party with these these friends could not chill in the house all they wanted to do is party 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 go from here to there to there to there to there go everywhere and now that the panoramic hit all of a sudden these people are clueless and they don't know what to do with themselves they're not used to sitting in the house and playing games they're not used to watching youtube videos they're not even used to the youtube world like that they don't even know the youtube world like that they don't know how to entertain themselves listen to a podcast read a book just be by themselves meditate pray they don't know how to do that and i hope that this year really opened your eyes to to just hone it in bring it all in and bring the focus back to you and your life you know and if you're a believer your relationship with god would would have to become stronger even though we couldn't go to church you know church is here Church is in the, in the heart. Church is not necessarily in the buildings. And I know I used to say this and get bashed for this because people were like, how do you mean? No, but seriously, this year has shown us because if it was all about the building, then surely by now we would have all been hopeless. We would have all been sinners uh, and, and just, you know, but it's not about that. God doesn't care too much about that alone it's about what's going on here are you doing things because you have to or are you doing things because you're passionate and you believe in it and you're doing it because you actually love god you know and so with all the flexing as well that people are doing like are you flex for who are you flexing why are you flexing you know you're flexing 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 now there's nowhere to go anywhere there's no body to show all this stuff off to there's nowhere to go there's no friends to make there's no social swear swear f swears there's no social spaces to climb up and up and up and so now it becomes really really important to see what's important for you if there's nobody else around which hopefully you're isolating yourself you're quarantining yourself if there's nobody else around you how are you with you how do you feel just being by yourself just being with yourself how do you feel what does it make you feel are you okay being alone are you okay being by yourself i hope this 2020 has given you the 2020 vision to know that you are enough you are all that you need and that you are fun you are funny you're intelligent and if you're not <laughs> This is the best time to pick a book, to read, to do some online courses. Just invest in you so that at least out of all this, at the end of the road, you cannot just say that you were depressed, low down to the ground and sad, but that you elevated yourself, right? Because just 
being in a state of just existing and just being is not it so many people are losing their lives who would have loved to be here they would have loved to be here they missed out on so much they did not even catch the end of this year you guys they did not even catch the end of 2020 they wish they were here so you guys don't take anything for granted that you're doing don't take for granted that you are here know that you are here for a reason out of all the people that could be here if we're just gonna even talk about the biology of it all out of all the different people that could be here it was you you were formed you were birthed and you are here you are so important and you have so much more to do we've had world wars and after that people survived and they are still here now some you know they, they have grandchildren they're living the best life that they can live and they're happy because they know what they came out of they know how horrible life was at some point and they know how far they have come you know there's this one lady who survived the flu panoramic from years and years from what was it 19 it was a long time ago and she survived the coro twice and someone is like 100 and something this is somebody who, who has has gone through it gone through the ringer and has come out and she's smiling be happy to be here i know that's hard and that's that's easily said than done and we all have our moments and we all have our days but also if things like instagram and all the social media they're bothering you because everybody's life is just perfect on there then maybe you need to step away from that and really focus on yourself i mean sometimes i get so overwhelmed with the amount of messages here 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 that i just feel like ignoring them all and sometimes i do and it's like there was a time when we didn't we didn't have to do all that life was just very simple you did your stuff you worked or you studied or you were on pension or you were too small to do any of these things and that was it and there was no extra extra things calling your attention extra things to do all the time extra things to look at extra visual uh, stimulation like there is now besides the television you know and i remember them days and let me tell you it was way more simple so if it comes to a time where you feel like you need to just look there's a lot of people that have gone back to flip phones because they, they just can't take it anymore they just want to be able to call in case of an emergency and that's it so if that's you know what's good for you know do what's good for you if life and everything is overwhelming cut things off cut certain things off you need to think about yourself you do not need to do what everybody else is doing figure out for yourself what 2020 what what it has opened your eyes to what vision you have gotten in this 2020 what what has it given you what has it what has it shown you what have you been able to see about yourself about the world about god but life and just be so grateful that we are here we are here at the end it was horrible but we are here thank god for that thank god for that there is so much more life to live stay positive stay healthy stay safe definitely stay sane stay sterile and yes make time for glorious life it's time to start what giving it right i'll see you next year god bless mm -hmm.